In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can show your values in your pivot table as a percentage change from the previous value. So here we have is some closing stock prices for a handful of stocks, Meta, the S&P, Microsoft, and Amazon. So to have these values instead of the stock closing stock price to be a percentage of the value before, we want to first highlight over the data that we want to make the change on, then go to the pivot table analyze tab. Now we want to go from here to field settings under the active field groupings on the left. Click on that. Make sure that the views value is being summarized by however we want it to be. And as you can see, it's the sum which works for this. Show values and we type show values as as a calculation. So instead of no calculation, which is default, we want it to have a percentage of. And you, whenever clicking on percentage of, you can have it. The percentage of a base field, there's only one base field in this example, which is a date, but make sure you, you're selecting the proper base field, and you can have it based on a percentage of a specific value, or the next value, or the previous value. So in this example, we want to have it be the percentage of your previous value. So, so for example, February is a little it's more than January, and March is more than February. So we want to kind of capture that for meta. And so percentage of previous, then click OK. It's going to calculate, and as you can see, now it's showing that February is 110% and 117% of, of Meta and of January, and March is 120% of February. Now, what do you want to have stock price next to the percent change? We can go to back to our original data, make a copy of this. So I'm going to Control X, Control V to bring everything to the to the, to the right. Control, make a copy of Microsoft and kind of do the same thing for the other stocks. So as you can see, now we are copying and pasting over just to kind of have copies of every single one, so we can have one field for it with the actual values and another one that shows the percentage change from the month prior. And at least temporarily, we want to show we want to have some sort of designations so we can make sure that we can easily see it is a copy whenever you're dragging it because the column names are what ultimately show up as the field names in our pivot table. So going back to the pivot table, we want to go to pivot table analyze and then change data source to make sure it is selecting all the data that we want to see. Click on change data source. And then as you can see it's only second to I. So now we want to select it to J, and then click OK. Is our pivot table is going to change some, and completely. So we now want to click and now to rename pivot table. So go to date, have dates on the row. Give it a second to calculate. Now, as you can see, it looks kind of weird. So we're going to click on one of the date values, then go on pivot table analyze, and click on ungroup. And then now we want to to drag in our stock. So in this example, I'm just going to show you kind of what it looks like for Microsoft. So for the columns, we're going to have Microsoft, not just the columns, but its values. And have Microsoft to to the to, to the right of that. And here, this is going to be the stock price, and then Microsoft 2 is going to be the percentage of total. So we can take the same idea, and then, but except for Microsoft 2, have it be pivot table analyze. And then go to field settings. Want to change the name from some Microsoft to to percent change. To percent change of Microsofts. So we will kind of communicate what we're trying to do. And we want to change show those values as percentage of the previous value. Click OK. And as you can see, and as you can see, now we have the stock price. Uh, we have stock price of Microsoft and the percent change from the month prior. So as you can see, two forty two. 9.42 is 0.65% more than 247. 288 is 50% more than that. And if we want to, we can repeat this for the other stocks that we have in our list. Like so. You might have to reformat the, the pivot table to be a little bit more of what you're trying to do. So for example, so Amazon wants the same thing. Go to show values as percentage of and then the previous value. To kind of format this a little bit, we're going to, to go to the, the stock price, Alt H and C, 
Alt H and C to find as a currency. Change the names, so or the column names, so from some Microsoft to for some of Amazon to my bad to percent change AMZ, AMZN and we're gonna have these values be instead of some of, of, of Amazon, just gonna have it be Amazon. And Microsoft. And the totals look kind of weird because it's only showing it in the percentages. So we're going to go ahead and turn those off by going to design, grand totals, and then offer rows and columns. Yeah, so that's it. I hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. You have a great day.